Hi, welcome to Reawakening Beauty. I'm your host, Shauna Petruno. I'm so excited to have you here. I love talking about all things skin-related, beauty-related, and mind-related. Here I empower you, mind, body, skin, and soul. So we are going to be talking about some really easy tips that you can do to kind of find good skincare, protect your skin in every season, and kind of some basic tips that you might be overlooking. So we're going to start off with something that is highly important. When you're buying your products, do not store them in a warm place that gets too hot. This is something that a lot of people, they often want to keep their products in the bathroom where the temperature is changing from hot to cold. But because of the shower humidity and then it tends to get hot, it actually sometimes can oxidize certain products, especially if you're opening them up, the jars and stuff like that. So I personally don't like to leave my skincare in the bathroom, which is funny that a lot of people actually do. Tip number two, which is often kind of overlooked and something that I would highly recommend is the expiration dates on your product. So every product will have like an expiration date on it. So you want to look at sometimes it's on the bottom. It could be on the top of your product. You want to make sure that you're looking on the expiration dates and not using your products past the expiration dates. So there's a few natural skincare products and it's great if you're using natural products, but if these products have natural acids in them, what happens is if the acids kind of expire, it can actually, I've actually heard of it burning people's skin. So you want to be really careful when you're using certain products that it won't do that. So it's not the brand that I work with, but it's another brand. So be mindful of the expiration dates. There's a reason why there's an expiration and DIN number on each product. And that's to just keep your skin as happy and healthy. Tip number three to avoid acne is like, it's so basic. And by this way, this is um, from cupping. Don't touch your skin. I had a really bad habit and I still do. Sometimes you'll see in my videos, like I'm actually just touching my face. So you don't want to be touching your skin, especially right now in the times that we're living in like COVID and all of that, you're touching things that have bacteria and dirt and oil, and then you're putting it on your skin. It's not beneficial. It can cause acne. It can cause other irritations. You don't want to be transmitting bacteria and that kind of thing towards the skin. Tip number four for just healthy skin is to buy products that are actually for your skin type. So there's a lot of people who will go watch a YouTuber like myself or listen to a podcast and all of a sudden they are, this person has nice skin, so I'm going to go buy everything that they recommend. And there's a reason why I don't put the links to my products on my company and that kind of thing is because I don't want you buying stuff that is for my skin type that's probably not for your skin type. So I try really hard not to tell you what is good for you because what is good for me may not be good for you. In the past, I had acne, rosacea. I've healed all of those issues by looking at internally my stomach and also anxiety. So when I got anxious, my skin would flush. I'm just telling you a little bit about my background, but people didn't really correlate the two. So if I was using something that was for someone who has dry skin, so I go to a beautiful YouTuber channel. I think she's gorgeous. I want to use the products that she's using. And then all of a sudden I'm using something that is designed for dry skin and I have combination oily acne prone with a tinge of anxiety, which causes my face to flush. It just would not work. So please do not think but because you see a beautiful girl on the internet that what she is using is going to give you the same results. You're a unique individual and you want to use stuff that is uniquely individualized to you. So I can't preface that enough. And also kind of deciphering what kind of skin you have. So there's different things that you want to know. Like, do you get oily at the end of the day? If you get oily at the end of the day, that's probably a good sign that you are probably more normal skin. If you notice that you're getting a shine earlier in the day, you might be more oily. So you wash your face and within a couple hours, that's a good sign that you're oily. But again, depending on medications that you're on or different factors, like if you're on Accutane, and can actually dry up oils internally, which you don't know if you're producing your own oils. So again, there's so many different factors. So first off is know your skin type. And second is don't buy products that are recommended for everyone and get a skin assessment and kind of know your skin. Also be mindful of foods that you eat and how they impact your skin. So that goes into the next tip is kind of Again, being aware of the foods that you're eating and how they're impacting you, how they're impacting your mood, how they're impacting your skin. So it's all connected. I talk a lot about this, mind, body, skin, and soul. 
So the foods that we eat impact our gut. There's a gut brain connection. I'm not a doctor, but I just know the way that my stomach works. So like I said, I have rosacea. So if I had coffee, I used to drink coffee. I used to love coffee. Like it was a food group for me. I would have coffee and then my skin would flush because it was irritating, bringing up inflammation. So I had to come off of coffee. And then I went to a lot of gut healing foods, probiotics, prebiotics, uh, sauerkraut, all of these great things that kind of help your skin. So I had to cut a lot of that stuff out. So that's another great tip is like kind of watching when you eat certain foods. So some people might notice chocolates trigger for them. So you might want to be like, oh, do I have um, allergy to dairy or cocoa? Actually, cocoa is an amazing food for you. So I really hope you don't. It's full of antioxidants and iron if you're a vegan. So, and then the last tip is please check your products for added fragrance. The reason why I'm saying this is added fragrance is a huge problem. Basically, it can mimic estrogen. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is just things that I've researched, studies that I've looked into. So I'm just sharing my experience. So I used to put on perfumes and then I would notice like my chemistry would change. I noticed that my periods were a little bit off. So I went to more natural stuff. So I use natural deodorants. There's ones that work better than others. So I cut out parabens and fragrances. And the fragrances are basically a ton of different chemicals that are joined together to make this beautiful scent. And it sucks because I've been looking for natural fragrances and perfumes that are kind of like the ones that I really like, or even just don't spray your perfume on you, spray your perfume on your clothes. Like I would spray it sometimes on my coat if you're just coming off of fragrances, but try to avoid stuff that has these fragrances. So yeah, I just wanted to say that I'm trying to think of any other tips that I could give you that might be helpful if you're just kind of starting out in your skincare journey. Don't believe everything you see on TV. So I'm a model and you'll notice like if you go to my Instagram feed, it's reawakening beauty, you'll see there's pictures of me. And honestly, they're accurate. A lot of them are kind of straight out of camera. I actually do look very similar to my photos. But some of those photos have been retouched or I have a filter on. So don't compare your skin to somebody else that you're seeing online because you never know. So don't be mean to yourself when you're kind of trying out new skincare and allow your skincare to work really and truly. Like that's probably the last tip is your skin cycle has a cycle of 28 days. So if you're healthy, like if you're healthy, you're eating while you're drinking water, your cells are replenishing all of that. And you're in good health and you're not drinking alcohol, smoking, doing drugs, all of those things. And you're not aging because as we age, our collagen starts depleting after the age of 25, our cell cycles start to die off, which means that they're not rejuvenating as quickly. So you want to just make sure that you're keeping all of these things in mind when you're being put on a new skincare routine. So I really do hope that that was helpful. You got some knowledge out of that. Let me know if you would like more videos like this. If you have a skin concern, I am trained in skincare. I've been in the skincare industry. So I went to school and I have been educating myself over the years. I've had trainings from numerous different companies and it's been something that I've been researching since I was about 17. So I like to share my experiences and what I've learned, how I healed my skin. So if there's anything you would like to see, let me know. But I hope that's helpful. And I hope that those tips help you. And I think I may just be talking in the next episode a little bit about beauty treatments that you can do. Also, all beauty treatments are not accurate for the same person. There's things like threading that you can do for your skin. But it depends on who you are, what your goal is, your age bracket, all of these different factors. You're unique and individual as a person. We all have different genetics and different makeup. So keep that in mind. Like I am not the same as you and you're not the same as me. And I would not want to put you on the same routine as me. So I hope that helps. Have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for listening to the latest episode of Reawakening Beauty. Subscribe to the podcast, hear more inspirational stories and tips related to all things mind, beauty, skin, and soul. I also encourage you to check out the show notes for additional information about my guest, the topics discussed during the episode, and of course, more information about me, your host, Shauna Petruno. If you want to be a guest on the show or just want to reach out and say hi, you can reach me on Instagram, LinkedIn, or email. All these details can be found in my show notes. Thank you so much for listening and have an amazing day.